Man, I bought donuts today. Oh, okay. I about to say y'all ain't need none of the donuts, the scumbags. Nah, we need some donuts. All right. What's popping in here on a Saturday? Yeah, but your favorite what? Let them know, Dwayne. Let them know. Yo, what's up, Tony? What's up, Tony? You ready to cut some hair? What's going on, my man? What's up, y'all? Dave Cuts Hair back with another video, and that is a busy barber shop on a Saturday morning. And today, I got a special haircut for you. I had a walk-in come in. Dude had freaking neon green hair. It was super crazy. I thought he was going to actually let me keep a little bit of length, but he wanted to chop it all off, and I had to convince him to keep his hair because it looks better with the color. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do like this video, comment this video, subscribe this channel, and I will see you guys at the end. A neon green hair walking came in and I cut him. So let's wet the hair, part it out, and get right into black graduation. I'm starting at the crown, separating everything that wants to sit on top of the head from what wants to lay down on the side. Look at those partings, that's clean. I should do a video just on how to part the hair. Yeah, that'll be my next video, you guys. I got y'all. I'm gonna do like, oh, that's, that'll be cool. I got y'all, I got something for y'all. All right, so we're getting right into black graduation and I'm trying to pull the hair, not so much downward, but like straight out from the head, like that hair that is right in between the middle of my fingers. I would like it to come out almost at like 90 degrees. I don't want it too bulky on the side. I kind of want to bring it in as tight as possible, but still keeping a square shape. But you see, if you just keep your, your middle finger rested on the scalp, you can kind of slide across and just grab the hair. It doesn't have to be super complicated. And the easiest way to connect the top into this is going to be splitting it down the middle and matching it right to the black graduation that we did on the side. What that's going to do is it's going to pull that hair that is closest to the middle part is going to be really, really long. That hair that's closest to the black graduation is going to be really, really short when you pull it straight up. So it's almost going to, if you say the person was to get like, imagine the person they got electrocuted and their hair is all standing straight up. If they're going to have like a triangle in the middle of their head and you'll be able to use your guide from the side where you match it to the black graduation to just cut it straight across at whatever length you want. And that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. Look, see the triangle in the middle of the head? It's short on the side and there's a triangle in the middle. There's a peak, not a triangle, a peak. Look at that. You just cut it straight off. You don't have to follow it up. If your fingers are parallel to the floor, I could have set the length to whatever I want. I could have left it a little bit longer. And you see I'm doing like one inch sections. Just keep swiping over, kind of like, you're making like, you know what that is? That's how people with straight hair used to pretend that they had waves, but just, rubbing the comb sideways across your head. <laughs> but I'm point cut him right here because I want him to, to have some texture. I convinced him to not shave his head, so I gotta leave him with a little bit of style. He look like the 12th member in sync. That's a compliment. I'm not roasting my client, y'all. That's a compliment. trees back let's go so now we're gonna put some sea salt spray in the hair and I'm gonna dry it and you guys know I like to dry the hair with my fingers I don't really like to use the brush I think it's a waste of time and using your fingers you get to bring out all of this texture this wonderful beautiful texture that you guys are seeing you see the crown is laid down and I'm gonna go right in with my number two now I know a lot of you guys use a number three when you do block graduation and that's cool I understand that I tried to um, I tried to use like 
a little bit of elevation when I did the, the black graduation so that I wouldn't have to, you, you can see the rhyme, man, like a little bit of elevation when I did the black graduation, let's go. But I, I tried to use some elevation so that I could run right, in, run right into it with a number two instead of a number three, save me time so I wouldn't have to use more guards. And I'm actually trying to blend down right here. So I started with the two, I went to the one and a half, the one open, and then you see I'll, I'll close it up. But his hair, like he had some really good hair. Like it was nice and like even tone. You know what I mean? He didn't have a lot of splotches in his hair. And I noticed that when I deep off with the number two, like, like everything was like the same color. So I was like, all right, this is, it's gonna look nice and like, soft the fade is going to look soft um if i try to fade down instead of fading up like why put a line in if i, if I don't feel like i need to right now and you see i'm using this is my trick i use the the neck duster to kind of like put powder almost like all over the, the client's head where the fade is going to be because it allows me to kind of like dry out the skin the same way that like um, texturizing powder dries, it sucks the moisture out of the hair, that, that baby powder, that, or not baby powder, golly. <laughs> I just had an infant, so I'm thinking about baby powder. The talc powder dries the skin and allows your clipper to kind of glide a little smoother on the head. It doesn't tug so much on the skin. If their skin is like moist and kind of like, not sticky, but like it, it's, just, it's just harder to, to move with efficiency. So we did the number one down fade, and now I am tapering out the sides and the back. And this is very easy. Uh, the taper is really simple. I wouldn't say easy, I'm sorry. It's, it's simple. Closed to the second notch, then the third notch, then the fifth notch. That's how I do it. I skip the fourth notch, and then I'll go to the, the half guard to blend into the one close that we did at the bottom when we down faded or faded down, whatever you want to call it. And I think that came out pretty clean, to be honest with you. So now we're gonna line it up and it's cool because that number one is like the perfect length to where it's light on the side, but you can still kind of see the lineup, which I think is dope. It looks really nice, especially on his hair. And you guys know I like to start in the nape area and then just do like that whole side. So now I'm working on the C cup. Now, for time's sake, I probably should have jumped in right into the beard and not even lined him up, but I wasn't sure if my camera was gonna die or my phone was gonna run out of storage and I wanted to record this whole, uh, at least the haircut. So that's why I saved the beard for last. But my camera didn't die. We do have the storage, praise the Lord. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did to the beard as well. And you see we used the shaver, like I was ready to finish the haircut. But then he asked me to take care of his beard. He wanted just maybe like to clean the mustache up. He didn't want to take it down. Like I think a lot of people would have just kind of not, or no, I'm not gonna say that, that's, that's messed up. But I hope you guys wouldn't have just knocked the, the mustache down to like a one and been like, all right, cool, mustache cleaned up or, you know, line it up. He'd have been really upset. He liked his mustache, but he wanted to clean it up some, get it off his lip. And then we're going to move right into the beard, trimming that up, nothing crazy. He still wanted to keep a pretty full beard, but it was just needed some, a little trim.
So what I like to do when it comes to beards is I like to kind of, the same thing I do with the top really, I kind of like imagine a box around the beard, you know, like flat down the side, flat at the bottom, come to the come to the side like where the person is the, you know the jaw their ear is flat down the bottom on that side and that kind of allows me to achieve uh what, uh what i think and my clients think uh, a pretty decent beard instead of cutting in and like rounding it off and in where you don't want to Oh man, so I noticed this while I was editing the video, this dad and his son playing rock, paper, scissors, and I thought it was pretty cool. Like I said, I just had a baby, so I'm, uh, I'm kind of, I guess my estrogen is going up. That's sad. But anyway, so we're cleaning up this beard. We're just lining it up right now. I use the clipper to kind of knock down the bulk of the beard and then the trimmer to make sure that, you know, there's no flyaways or nothing crazy. It looks pretty neat. We line it up, make it look good. You want to make sure you, you use a comb for this part, not a brush. A brush is just going to kind of like pat the hair, but a comb is really going to like, you're going to be able to control the hair a lot more with a comb. And right here, I'm just doing a light blend at the top of the beard. Number one, open. Number one, close blade open and then slowly close it as I'm going up so this video I thought was pretty hopefully educational for you guys mainly I wanted to show you guys how I tackled the top and you know the fade on the side and everything like that but the beard is some valuable info too but I want you guys to pay attention to the, like the attention to detail that I'm giving this client right now you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm hitting his eyebrows. You'll see I hit his ear hairs. Like, he said he doesn't live out here. He lives in Riverview. But, like, I'm pretty sure this guy will be back. I gave him my info. So, we'll see. God willing. Inshallah, bro. Inshallah. You see that? We're taking care of the ear hairs. That's how you got to treat a walk in the first time in the shop. And this was bugging me the whole time I was watching this, but I knew at the end I, I took care of it. That kind of like shelf, that kind of hard line of the color right there. I'll just use my shears to kind of clean it up. And there is the haircut. Number one, faded down with the neon green shorty on top. Trim some beard action and line a man up. I think that's pretty clean. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, please, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share it with somebody who you think is going to find valuable. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.